Other units into the area to ATL. Both units not to party one. We realize that when officers are en route to the call, there's a great opportunity to have analysts working behind the scenes to gather as much information as possible. There's about a three minute and 38 second window that we have time to try to give those officers additional information to help them for uh, that situation they're about to get into. These three minutes, 38 seconds, may be the most important time in your life. On average, it takes one minute, 21 seconds for 911 operators to obtain enough information to dispatch emergency responders and resources. 911 operators do a great job of delivering basic information so officers know where they are going and basic facts, but the aim is to give them much more. Well, Real Time Crime Center is the newest innovation in law enforcement. And what it's doing is it's getting information that's already out there and getting information in the hands of officers, in many cases, prior to arriving at the event they've been dispatched to. While he's going there, we're looking through the computer, six monitors, going through everything we can in three minutes and 38 seconds. So the dispatch comes out over air, we listen to it, we mark it as, as to what tier it's going to be into. Charlie 321, RTC. RTC 1 to Charles 321. RTC, could you run that 26 and advise it? We pull up the call, get logged into the call, and start looking at the information that's in the call. Uh, address, phone numbers, names, descriptions, vehicles, uh, whatever is there that we could try to use to identify anybody at the scene. The more information an officer has pre-event arrival, the better decisions they can make. Be advised. APD is utilizing technology and analytics to use that 3 minutes 38 seconds that was traditionally used just to move resources, now as invaluable research time to provide first responders with information. Information is knowledge and it's power. What we're doing with analytics and predictive analysis, everyone realizes and sees the benefits. Photos, arrest records, warrants, and any information about criminal behaviors are retrieved, processed, and then transmitted directly to the responding officers. Information that will save lives, solve more crimes, and create a safer environment for everyone involved. Charlie, three, two, one, going five, six. We want officers to know exactly who they may be dealing with, the history of the individual. That's very useful information to, uh, to an officer to understand what they're about to get involved in. Before they knock on the door or ring that doorbell. The goal of the Real-Time Crime Center is to fully arm responding units with information, keeping the public and officers ultimately safer. The APD Real-Time Crime Center is expanding its research capabilities to include looking inside of businesses on IP-based security systems. And soon, the Real-Time Crime Center will monitor officers' personal body cameras in real time, as well as linking into nearby camera systems at municipal and private businesses that have joined the network. Information gathered by the Real-Time Crime Center can help officers better prepare for the incident they're about to encounter information they can use before they knock on that door. And that's what we will be accomplishing at the Real Time Crime Center. And much, much more.